chronic intestinal pseudo obstruction is a rare, severe, and disabling gastrointestinal motility disorder that can affect adults and children. There is an alteration in the intestine's narrow muscular structures, which causes the total or partial absence of peristalsis, the wave like movements of the muscles that push the intestinal contents and gas forward. Sometimes, other internal organs' muscles, such as the bladder, may be also affected. This results in partial or total inability to feed by mouth. The cause of chronic intestinal pseudo-obstruction is not always known. There are forms due to diseases of the intestinal muscles or nerves, myopathies or neuropathies or mitochondrial diseases. Sometimes the disease occurs as a result of metabolic, endocrine, rheumatological, muscular or neurological disorders. Diagnosing chronic intestinal pseudo-obstruction according to current international guidelines is based on the presence of at least two of the following diagnostic criteria. Compromise of the neuromuscular system. Recurrent or persistent dilatation of small bowel loops. Presence of genetic or metabolic abnormalities. Inability to maintain an adequate nutritional status and satisfactory growth with oral feeding, requiring enteral or parenteral artificial nutrition. Some diagnostic screening tests may confirm the diagnosis of chronic intestinal pseudo-obstruction or pediatric intestinal pseudo-obstruction. Plain abdominal x-ray, abdominal x-ray with contrast, gastrointestinal transit scintigraphy, manometry, full thickness intestinal biopsy, ultrasound kidneys and urinary tract, computed tomography and magnetic resonance imaging, genetic testing, digestive endoscopy. The therapeutic management of chronic intestinal pseudo-obstruction involves a multidisciplinary team made up of a pediatrician, gastroenterologist, a digestive surgeon, a pathologist, a neurologist, a nephrologist, a geneticist, specialists in metabolic and genetic diseases, endocrinologist, nutritionist, and psychologist. Treating obstructive symptoms and maintaining a good nutritional status and growth are the main disease management goals. Enteral, gastric and intestinal, and parenteral, intravenous nutrition play a key role in the disease management. There is no cure and there are no specific drugs for the treatment of chronic intestinal pseudo-obstruction. However, some therapies can be used to relieve symptoms and manage complications, such as prokinetics and antibiotics. Surgery plays a crucial role in the management of patients with chronic intestinal pseudo-obstruction. Digestive ostomies, for example, gastrostomy, digunostomy, ileostomy, cecostomy, colostomy, provide direct access to the affected gastrointestinal tract. They can be used for enteral nutrition or drug administration and represent a route of decompression from the gastrointestinal contents. Chronic intestinal pseudo-obstruction is a complex disease requiring individualized management. Sharing experience and expertise between national and international experts is pivotal for improving daily clinical care and future research perspective. Let's raise awareness on SIPO together.